In human history, there are many ancient paintings that appear to display and identify flying objects in the sky or in outer space. But why would these historical paintings showcase flying objects in the sky when humans hadn't even invented flying machines? Could these historical paintings be the first evidence that alien life existed in the past? These paintings are related to religion, which brings up the question of whether alien activity played a role in our religious beliefs. These are nine historical paintings depicting UFOs. Number nine, the crucifixion of Christ, Georgia, Eastern Europe. This painting shows the crucifixion of Christ fresco in Svetoshevli Cathedral in Matishita, Georgia and clearly displays objects flying on both sides of the cross. Many people believe that during Jesus' life, alien beings played a role, leading some ancient aliens to speculate that Jesus could have been an alien-human hybrid. Could Jesus' mother Mary have been inseminated with a fetus containing alien DNA? If this is true, Mary could have been the first alien abductee in recorded history. Number eight, glorification of the Eucharist. Painted by Ventura Salambini around 1600, the glorification of the Eucharist showcases some eerie time travel and possibly alien life elements. The globe-shaped object between Jesus and the Holy Father looks strangely like a device from the future with antenna-like features. The sphere is set with a telescopic eye making it appear to be a monitoring device or a satellite hovering up in space. Could the artist have foreseen the future or could it have been a time traveller? The sphere appears to have a metallic finish suggesting it's an artificial object. Number seven, the Annunciation with Saint Amidas. Painted by Italian artist Carlo Crivelli in 1486, this painting shows the Virgin Mary shortly before she realizes she will give birth to Jesus. Staying with our theory that Mary could have been the first alien abductee, this painting clearly shows a UFO in the sky with a beam of light coming from the aircraft leading to Mary's head. Of course, historians suggest that the beam of light depicts the halo of the Lord projecting onto Mary. However, alien and UFO enthusiasts interpret the halo as the infamous disc-shaped UFO we are now familiar with. Disturbingly, many abductees see a beam of light coming down before they are abducted. Number six, the baptism of Christ. Painted by Dutch artist Eert de Gelde in 1710, this is the second painting to show a disc-shaped flying object. The object displays several rays of light beaming down towards the baptismal scene. The artist was a student of Rembrandt, some of whose works are part of the Vatican's art archives and their secret knowledge. Could Gell also have had, had access to these secret archives containing evidence regarding UFO and alien events? The painting now hangs in the Fitzwilliam Museum in Cambridge, UK. Number five, the crucifixion of Christ, Kosovo. This painting hangs above the altar of the Visoki Dekani Monastery in Kosovo and depicts the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, clearly showing airborne crafts in each corner of the painting. What's more creepy is that the painting appears to show a person piloting each craft. The aircrafts have no halo depicted around them, ruling out the possibility that they are divine beings. Could these crafts have been a future prediction or a real-life UFO sighting? Number four, Israel, put your hope in the Lord painting. Known to be one of the most mysterious paintings, this shows an enormous disc-shaped object hovering over a burning church. The scene of the painting is said to be located within the legendary region of Transylvania, which was the birthplace of Vlad the Impaler, who was the inspiration for the novel Dracula by Bram Stoker in 1897. It is unknown when the painting was created and by whom. Could the artist have been witness to UFO hovering over a fire that destroyed the monastery in the 17th century? The painting was probably created after those events. This enormous UFO is similar to that seen in a mass UFO sighting in Arizona, where a crowd witnessed a huge V-shaped ship in the sky. Number three, the Madonna with Saint Giovannino. This painting depicts the Madonna with Saint Giovannino, plus something extra for UFO enthusiasts, a UFO behind the left shoulder of Madonna. A man can be seen on a hill staring at the aircraft with his dog, who is barking at it, suggesting that the object isn't divine. The position of Madonna suggests that she is shielding her children from the craft. Her halo also appears darker and fainter. Could this be a sign that the flying object was seen as a dark and disturbing presence? Number two, the miracle of the snow. 
painted by Masolino da Pandicelli, this supposedly depicts the mysterious snowfall that occurred in Rome on hot summer's day in August during the 4th century. While the townsfolk were investigating the snow falling on the ground, Jesus and Mary can be seen looking over them in the clouds. However, behind them, something more frightening can be seen. Some say that these shapes represent heaven filling the sky. However, they look more like flying saucers hovering in the sky with their craft-like shape. Some ufologists tend to think that there is a credible theory behind the UFO activity. Many bizarre weather patterns have been linked to UFO sightings from around the world. On October the 27th, 1954, several egg-shaped objects were seen hovering over a football stadium one afternoon. Many witnesses stated that the UFOs looked like snowflakes glittering in the sky. Number 1. Triumph of Summer Tapestry the painting was created in Bruges, Belgium in 1538 and clearly shows several objects that look very much like today's UFO sightings. The saucer-shaped objects appear to have raised sections in them that look like cockpits. Some may say that these could easily be religious symbols. However, there are no known religious symbols that look like this. Today, this tapestry can be viewed in the Bayerisches National Museum in Germany.